Well, the Austin Police Department is taking immediate action to protect officers from defective patrol cars. Fox 7's Jacqueline Sarkeesian joins us live now from APD headquarters to tell us exactly what's being done. Jacqueline? That's right, Lauren. Over the weekend, an officer nearly passes out behind the wheel because of high levels of carbon monoxide. And turns out Austin isn't the only place having this problem. On Friday, an Austin police sergeant was driving his patrol car when he got sick. And Austin Police Association President Ken Cassidy says the officer bumped into a curb and called for backup. He was then taken to a hospital where doctors found he had had levels of carbon monoxide. The sergeant was driving a Ford Explorer, which has had complaints of similar problems. APD says they first heard of this in December when Ford issued a technical safety bulletin for modern made between 2011 and 2015. Since then, there have been three reported episodes, including the one from Friday. If it changes to uh, certain colors and the officer driving the vehicle will know that the carbon monoxide levels in that vehicle are rising. It's a colorless, odorless gas. There's no way to tell whether anything in particular um, is doing that to you. The injuries associated with carbon monoxide poison have to do with lack of oxygenation, primarily to the brain, so you get a headache early, sometimes nausea, vomiting, um, uh, progressing to true changes in mental status, and it can actually make you comatose if the levels get high enough. Two patrol cars have been sent back to Ford. APD says it's ordered 400 carbon monoxide detectors that will arrive today and more permanent ones will arrive later this week. Police say they hope Ford fixes this problem before somebody dies from it. As for the officer who got sick, he's recovering and believed to be okay. Back to the studio. All right, Jacqueline, thank you.